Doctor Who filming news you say, don't worry we've got you covered. Of course, we're all still super excited with David Tennant and Catherine Tate being on location filming in Bristol the other month. However, we've learned new details that we can't wait to share with you all. Greetings everyone, I'm Jack and welcome to TARDIS Central. As a quick heads up by the way, the UK is experiencing a heatwave right now. That's why you can probably hear the outside world and I sound a bit different as it's rather hot in the studio. So forgive me, we're going to crack on anyway. So yes, we've got more exciting Doctor news about next year's 60th anniversary celebratory specials. Yes, we said specials as a definitive there, but we'll get to that in a minute. We've got quite a bit of notable detail to get through in this video, and potentially hinders what will come for our next filming out on location. Now as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all things Doctor Who news, lore and more. Of course, you can hit that subscribe button, but don't forget to follow us on social media as well, where we post our daily updates before they're made into videos. Okay, let's go. Well, who viewers, we started the month with some news that many seem to have missed, as on July 1st, we were in fact given a sneaky little post from Chania Button. Following the speculation in mid-June, with the sighting of what seemed to be a clapperboard for filming in Bristol, the Dog 2, that featured Chania's name on the director's slot instead of related to Lele, we've now been given a confirmation that Chania Button is indeed directing the Doctor Who. Initially quietly posted by Chan to her own personal Instagram as a quiet affair, the host featured a clapperboard for the show's previous day of filming on Thursday the 30th of June, and was quickly spotted by previous fans of her work and Whovians. We have been keeping an eye on our socials for an announcement in the wake of a mid-June speculation. Rapidly following this, Russell T Davis commented on the post and Chan reared the caption to make it more of an official announcement. And so, with Russell's blessing, we can officially welcome Chanya Bun to the Hooniverse. And as you can see, there's more than just Button's presence as a director to take in here. You may be questioning how Button can be the director of the 60th and Rachel Talele. Well, as we said at the start, we now have definitive confirmation here that there will be more than one Doctor Who special. Though neither Button nor Davis brought any attention to it on the post. The clapboard featured showcases of the episode and scene number for the shot. And then we see that Bun is actually working on a third episode right now. So there we have it. There will be at least three specials for the 60th anniversary. This makes a little bit more sense of the initial vagueness of Ten and Tate's press release. That did describe their return as part of the anniversary celebrations rather than a specific number of specials. Given the clapperboard date and the lack of public sighting, we can also assume that the week in the question of filming was solely on set within the studio. And the last big piece of information we can glean from this special number 3's director of photography. DOP for short is another newcomer to the Hooniverse, Mika Orasma. however you pronounce her name. Seen together in a lovely selfie post of Barnes' Instagram story, we gain even more information. Evidently on location in the picture, but do you have further shown their involvement with the Bristol filming, in this specific instance, which occurred on the 16th of June, so about a whole month ago now. What's more, the scene number provides a nice clue as to the nature of the scenes filmed. Clearly marked as scene number one, it seems that special number three will be kicking off with some sort of material shot on location. Could it be that the Doctor and Donna will arrive on the scene at the opening of the episode? That'd be rather cool when you think about it. Essentially, they begin walking down a city street together. You can see in some of the clips on the screen right now and some of the pictures we're checking on, just as they exit where the TARDIS is parked and walk down. This is potentially where the chaos of people going mad in the street and Neil Patrick Harris's dance with the Doctor, maybe to form part of a pre title sequence of that? It's got potential. Now, it's hard to say anything for certain with that, especially as the previous side clapboard indicates they were also filming scene 25 of the special episode, which is number 3, down in Bristol. So the order isn't fully clear, but it's certainly a promising start for Hoodivans who want to try and piece things together sooner rather than later. That's us. However, there's just one more aspect we've not yet talked about here, the logo. Now finally seen in a clear view, we can see it properly, and we're not quite sure what to actually make of it just yet. On screen now. The logo bears some past similarity to a logo used for the test title sequence for the Patrick Troughton era that was ultimately went unused. However, this should not be taken as any definitive thing just yet, and we're about to tell you why. Both Series 13 had a clap award that featured the current logo of the series, as did Series 12 when it went into production, Series 11 clapboards did not feature the logo, with a placeholder font used instead. Prior to the Chibnall production error, Series 10 also featured a generic font, as did Series 9. But through recent years, they have featured a current logo on the clapperboards. We can say there is plenty of precedent for starting Series in an era, and even a Series sometime into a particular production era. In this case, Moffat's Capaldi stretch, 
where the user logo of a series isn't really used. You know, instead, it might make some sense for this not to be the logo. Given the 2023 release of these three specials, presumably, it might in fact be too early for the logo and branding for Russell's second production era to have actually been finalised this year. Without a finalised logo, a default font would have been used for identification of the recorded footage. We don't have an exact match on the font used of the clapperboard for those wondering, but it does bear some resemblance to the font FTY Derulium or MVC Bold. However, that font is somewhat thinner and features a rounded bottom on the W's that isn't present on the clapperboard just at the minute. So yes, that was some production news for you. What do you think of our two newest major crew arrivals in the Hooniverse? And do you think the clapperboard features the final logo for this era? Let us know what you think below in the comment section as per usual. And if you want to keep up to date on the latest Doc 2 news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Tide Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doc 2 universe. But for now, I've been Jack here on Tide Central. Thank you for watching and wish us luck during this heatwave, as I feel I've just walked out of episode 42, for those who remember that episode. Good luck everyone, and we'll see you very soon. Goodbye.